Are you looking for the truth behind why grocery stores are raising their product prices to minimize their losses? Well, here's the truth, folks. Okay, we're going to be covering that today on this video. And what is really taking place out here is we're all seeing all these prices and everything are skyrocketing, right? I mean, everything from eggs, milk, yogurt, meat, canned goods, dry goods, everything in the store is all going up. And here is the reason why. The Wall Street Journal reported last July that a lot of the major retailers, and they list off just about everybody under the sun, all right, was trying to stockpile food. They were pre-buying food at a certain price, okay? And the Insider also reported the same thing later on in that month of July of last year. So these retailers saw what was coming, like we right. have been reporting to you and trying to get you all aware and try to start prepping and topping off your preps and doing what you can for you and your family a long time ago while prices were still cheap. Now they brought all this product and stuff and all the new product that they're buying. So they now, stockpiled everything from back then. They bought it at one price. All right, it's kind of like what the oil company is doing to us. They keep raising the prices every time that the uh, stock market on the oil goes up just a little bit. They raise gas and diesel prices another 10, 20 cents a gallon. So these huge retailers have took and pre-bought a lot of this food and they've been putting it into their, all their different stores throughout the country. All right. And now, everything they're ordering now is costing them an astronomical price. So what they've done is, a lot of this product that is coming into the stores or in the stores now, they already bought and paid for last year. The pre-buy that they're doing for this coming year and this coming season, right on through to the Christmas season, all right, because they're all placing their orders and everything now for those type of seasons because they want to see what they're going to get and what they may not get. But they're raising the prices on the stuff they already bought at a really good price, and we're paying the price for it. It may seem a little bit ironic, but it also is the absolute truth. You know, if you just take on, say, canned goods. If you goods, take your canned goods, and you sit there, and you say they raise them five cents per can. Now, let's just say that a particular store sells, you know, a thousand cans of these a day okay that five cents starts adding up really quick do you see where I'm going with this folks this is how they get you and then the next thing you know they start raising the prices even more because now they're trying to get at us to pay for this to minimize their losses once again the consumer us people here in America or right around the world is the ones that are paying the ultimate price of the skyrocketing unbelievable prices that they're charging for some of these products in these stores you see some areas where a gallon of milk is almost six bucks you see where eggs a dozen eggs is what between three and four bucks i mean come on and then they turn around and everybody wants to blame everything on the war going on across the water. Everything is that, everything is that problem. Oh, and wait, we're also still dealing with the Charlie Victor 19. Yeah, that's still causing all these problems. Oh, and wait, we also have to add in there the bird flu too. You know, I mean, that one there, that's just coming back and getting us right now. So we have all these different things that are going on. And these retailers are sitting back and they're laughing all the way to the bank, just like the oil companies are. So in the end, what are we going to do? There's not much we can do, is there? You have to buy the food. You have to pay the prices. But there's going to come a point, if they keep raising these prices and they keep going up, the people are going to stop and they're going to revolt. And that's what I fear the most because it's going to come to a, a grinding standstill when people that are working 
can't afford to go and buy the food because these corporations and these grocery stores are raising their product prices to minimize their own losses to all their CEOs and to all the people that sit on the board and everything else so everything looks good to the stock market and everything else meanwhile the little guy out there is screwed okay ladies and gentlemen now it's time for you to be able to win a brand new two burner coleman stove that's going to be announced tomorrow night at 8 p.m on the live stream so what do you have to do all you have to do is answer this simple question and put it in the comments below to get entered to win what was the one thing that made you start prepping was it something like uh, an emergency situation that had happened to you um, a family illness was it your parents was it the way you were brought up was it your grandparents you know what was it that got you into prepping and how long have you been prepping so that's all you gotta do folks you put that in the comments below I have a comment picker I just load that program right up I drop the video into it boom it pulls all the comments out I click run at 7 50 p.m. 10 minutes before 8 o'clock when we go live and I'll have a winner but you have to tune in to the live stream to see if you win the two burner Coleman stove that will be shipped directly right to you to help you and your family be prepared so good luck to everybody so this is just something to ponder folks and you really need to pay attention to what is taking place all around us you need to get the big picture and you need to really understand why this is really happening to all of us because corporate greed is controlling America as we speak and it's not gonna go away anytime soon because the government doesn't really care about us we the people we don't matter their pocketbooks is what matters the ones that are generating all the money that the government is getting that's who they care about us little guys and what we pay in taxes per year we're just like a crumb on the floor if you get what I'm saying so I'm survival preparedness for beginners I hope you all stay safe you keep prepping and try to do your best to try to find the best deals that you can find to put away for a rainy day because the flood is coming till next time I'll catch all of you on the flip side.